Hey guys, Ted here and welcome back to another Adobe Audition tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to connect our audio input and output into Adobe Audition. Now in order to do so, we need to look for our preference tab and the audio hardware tab. If you're using a Mac, it'll be under your Adobe Audition button itself, but just look up for your preference tab and then look for audio hardware, just like this. So inside the audio hardware tab, you'll see the default input and output. But before we go on, let's go back and now just want to show you how you can actually get here through another way. Go to Preferences, General, or you can press Ctrl Shift K or Command Shift K. And on the left hand side toolbar, you'll see audio hardware, click it, and you'll see the default input and default output options again. For your default input and default output, just choose the equipment that you want to use to record and listen to yourself with. For me, I'm going to use my Rodecaster Pro because it's connected to my Rode mic itself. And as for the output, my Rodecaster Pro is connected to my headphones. So that's why my options here are both under the Rodecaster Pro. So the options would definitely differ for you depending on the equipment that you want to connect to Adobe Audition and your computer itself. So just choose the one that you want to use and you should be good to go. Click OK. Now, if you're still facing some problems hearing yourself or recording with your microphone, you can go to Preferences again, General, and look out for Audio Channel Mapping, which should be one option above Audio Hardware. Go in and make sure that your input and your output actually matches the input and output that you place for your audio hardware. Once it's done, click OK and you should be ready. And there you go, that's how you connect your audio input and output to Adobe Audition. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.